big news from the royal family front. We've been waiting to find out who made those alleged racist comments about Archie before he was born, and now, thanks to a new book, we've got names. Omid Scooby's latest work, Endgame, has been stirring the pot, and it's even messier than we thought. In a surprising twist, the Dutch edition of this book spills the beans about the royal family members involved in this controversy. Here's where it gets tricky. Scooby seems to be in a bit of a panic, fearing legal action. He's scrambling to pull copies of the book from the shelves in the Netherlands. But, let's be real, this revelation doesn't seem like a mere accident. According to Page Six, Xander Publishers, who released the book in Holland, received an urgent request from the US to stop sales immediately. A representative from Xander told the Daily Mail they're on hold, waiting for further instructions and unsure how long this pause will last. Endgame discusses the state of the British monarchy following Queen Elizabeth's passing in September 2022. Interestingly, in the final version of the book, Scooby didn't reveal who in the royal family allegedly questioned Archie's skin tone. But, in the Dutch version, he dropped a bombshell. It was none other than King Charles. Thanks to Rick Evers, who used to be on Twitter, we've got a translation of this juicy excerpt. In it, we find that during the famous Oprah interview, Harry and Meghan chose not to disclose the identity of the royal in question. However, this Dutch edition of the book seems to break that silence. A representative for Harry and Meghan reportedly. In a surprising turn of events, the royal mystery deepens with the latest revelations from Olmut Scobie's Endgame. The Dutch edition of the book has unexpectedly named King Charles as the royal who made comments about Archie's skin color before his birth. This startling detail wasn't in the original English version but has since been translated and reported on. Meghan, in her conversation, insisted that the Queen and Prince Philip were not involved, focusing on protecting their reputations. However, private letters mentioned in the book point directly to Charles. Royal insiders suggest that Charles wanted to clear the air with Meghan, explaining there was no malice or prejudice in his remarks, as reported on page 128 of the Dutch version of Endgame. The Daily Mail initially covered the story but chose to withhold the name, likely due to legal concerns. This hesitation is understandable, as Scobie himself seems to be in a state of alarm over potential legal repercussions. The publishers are also presumably treading carefully. Adding to the intrigue, the book also hints at a second royal involved in these discussions. According to another excerpt translated by Rick Evers, it appears the King and the Princess of Wales were both part of conversations about Archie. This revelation has led to tension, with Kate, the Princess of Wales, reportedly avoiding the topic with Meghan. As we delve into these claims, the question arises, how much truth is there to these allegations? With Charles being a central figure, the revelations in Omid Scobie's Endgame have sparked a flurry of speculation and debate. The Dutch editions claimed that King Charles made comments about Archie's skin color raises questions about generational perspectives and the nature of family discussions. Some argue that Charles, coming from an older generation, might have made remarks out of curiosity rather than malice. The idea is that he was simply wondering about Archie's appearance, a topic often broached in family settings. However, there's a contrasting view about Meghan's reaction to such comments. Critics suggest that Meghan might be overly sensitive or looking for reasons to be offended. This perspective posits that what might have been a benign comment was taken out of context. Turning to the accusation against Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, skepticism reigns. Many find it hard to believe that Catherine, known for her grace and commitment to royal duties, could have made any racially insensitive remarks about Archie. This skepticism is fueled by the perception of animosity between Meghan and Catherine, with the book allegedly painting Catherine in a negative light. The underlying sentiment is that Meghan's attempts to tarnish Catherine's reputation are unlikely to succeed. Catherine's popularity and positive public image are contrasted with Meghan's less favorable standing. As for the consequences of these revelations, there's a keen anticipation for the aftermath. The term error, as used by Scobie, suggests a possible mishap in the publication process. Yet, the impact of these claims on the royal family and the individuals involved remains a topic of intense interest and speculation. The unfolding situation leaves us wondering, in the ongoing royal saga, Olmid Scobie's role has come under scrutiny. 
previously claiming knowledge of the royal family members who allegedly made comments about Archie's skin color, Scobie's revelations have stirred up a media storm. Interestingly, in a Good Morning interview, Scobie mentioned that these names were part of letters exchanged between Meghan and Charles post-Oprah interview. He suggested that Charles was deeply troubled by Meghan's feelings and wanted to address them as a family representative. Scobie's reluctance to publicly name the individuals, citing fears of legal action, adds another layer to this complex narrative. He expressed concerns about potential lawsuits, which many feel he rightly deserves. This development has led some to hope for legal repercussions against Scobie. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan's position in this royal drama seems increasingly precarious. With the alleged royal racist card now seemingly played out, questions arise about their future strategies in dealing with the royal family. This revelation might signal a shift in the dynamics of Harry and Meghan's relationship with the rest of the family. Previously, there might have been concerns within the royal family about the impact of such allegations, especially involving figures like Catherine and Charles. However, with the credibility of these claims now in doubt, it seems the royal family might have less to worry about. The reputational damage that Harry, Meghan, and Scobie could inflict appears to be diminishing, as the public becomes more skeptical of their allegations. As we watch this unfold, it's clear that the power dynamics within the royal family are shifting. Harry and Meghan, once seen as potential disruptors, might now be losing their. The unfolding drama around Omid Scobie's book Endgame has taken another twist. The credibility of Scobie and his book is under fire, especially after the unexpected naming of King Charles in the Dutch version. The explanation that the Dutch publishers mistakenly added names doesn't hold up, as typically, translations don't involve altering names. This raises questions about Scobie's claim that the inclusion of Charles's name was an error. Efforts are being made to pull the book from shelves, but it seems the cat is already out of the bag, with copies circulating and people discussing the contents openly. Adding to the book's controversies is a claim regarding Princess Diana's tragic death in 1997. Scobie's book echoes a theory that a bright flash from a paparazzi photographer's camera contributed to the crash. This theory aligns with conspiracy claims made by Mohammed Fayyad, who suggested that Diana and his son Dodi's deaths were part of a larger plot. However, this narrative has been widely dismissed by French authorities and former Met Police Chief Lord Stevens. Investigations have consistently pointed to the accident being just that, a tragic accident, with factors like the driver's intoxication and Diana not wearing a seatbelt playing significant roles. As the book faces scrutiny for its claims and alleged discrepancies, the narrative around the royal family continues to evolve. With each new revelation and counterclaim, the public's perception of the characters involved in this royal drama. As we dive deeper into the controversy surrounding Omid Scobie's endgame, it's clear there's much to unpack. In the upcoming discussions, we'll delve into the various inaccuracies and questionable claims made in this contentious book. The situation around Scobie and the book's fallout promises to be a roller coaster of developments. What's your take on this tangled rail saga? Your insights and opinions are valuable in piecing together this complex puzzle. This story is evolving rapidly, and there's much to keep up with. So, stay connected for more updates and analyses on this intriguing chapter in royal history. Your thoughts and engagement are what make these explorations into royal affairs so compelling. Let's continue this conversation and see where this royal controversy leads us next.